Hello everyone and welcome to the Curious Aviator channel. Today we are going to be looking at the top 5 commercial or passenger aircraft manufacturers around the world. The manufacturers mentioned here constitute over 90% of the market share. So let's begin. order at first we have Boeing. This is the heavyweight from the United States which was founded in Seattle, Washington way back in 1916 by a gentleman named William Boeing. Yes, that's where the name came from. Seattle is also not far from the Boeing Everett factory which is the largest building in the world by volume. They also have factories in Renton and South Carolina. In 1997, Boeing had a merger with the McDonnell Douglas company and the current logo is an indication of this where Boeing merely adopted the logo of the McDonnell Douglas company into their own. The first Boeing was the Boeing Model 1 which was a single engine seaplane. Meanwhile, one of their most iconic aircraft is no doubt the 747 also known as the Queen of the Skies which is recognized by its classical hump. The 747 was also the first wide body of the market. Yet, it is not the most sold Boeing. The 737 has that crown to its name and is also one of the two most popular narrow bodies of the market. Boeing has generally been dominant in the wide body segment and some of the famous wide bodies are the 767, the long range 777, and the Dreamliner or also known as the 787. Excluding the 737, Boeing have also built other narrow bodies such as the first Boeing jet which was the 707, then the 717, then the Tri-Jet 727 and lastly the thin and long 757. At number 2, we have Airbus. The Airbus Industries is a European aircraft manufacturer which constitute of countries from the European Union which are mainly France, Germany, the United Kingdom and Spain. Airbus has its final assembly lines in France, Germany, Spain, China, United States and Canada. The Europeans had many aircraft manufacturers back in the day but they didn't have a single large manufacturer like Boeing. Hence in the 1970s countries from the European Union decided to come together and form the Airbus Industries by starting with the first Airbus which was the Airbus A300 and it is also the world's first twin engine wide body. The most sold aircraft is no doubt the A320 family which can be seen all around the world and is the other most famous narrow bodies of the market. But one of the most iconic aircraft has to be the largest commercial passenger aircraft which is the Airbus A380. A huge airplane which has two full decks and has a certified passenger capacity of over 850 passengers. But obviously that would be too crowded right? Hence we don't usually see this as every airline configures their aircraft differently and at an average we see seating capacity around the 500 and 550 mark. The other prominent aircraft of the Airbus portfolio are the A310, A330, A340, A220 and the shiny new A350. Next we have Embraer. They are a Brazilian company. Embraer is the third largest civil aircraft producer after Airbus and Boeing. Embraer was set up in 1969 by the government of Brazil. Embraer started with a relatively small turboprop passenger aircraft named the Embraer EMB-110. Despite starting as a government-owned corporation, Embraer was privatized in 1994 and was able to avoid bankruptcy since then. However, the Brazilian government still holds veto power in the company. Embraer has been mostly focused on developing and manufacturing regional and domestic aircraft which is evident from the inventory. The Embraer inventory is mainly divided into three groups namely the ERJ family 
which consist of the ERJ135, ERJ140 and the ERJ145 which have a passenger capacity from 37 to 50 passengers. Then we have the E-Jet family which has the E170, E175, E190 and the E195 which seats from 66 to 124 passengers. And lastly we have the new E-Jet 2 family consisting of the E175 E2, E190 E2 and the E195 E2. Yeah, talk about confusing and long names. The EJ2 family can accommodate from 80 to 146 passengers. At number 4, we have Bombardier. Bombardier is a Canadian manufacturer which not only produces aircraft but a large variety of utilitarian vehicles as well. The company was founded by Joseph Armand Bombardier who started first by building snowmobiles for the great snows of Canada and slowly gained popularity among the Canadian public and then Bombardier expanded into the aviation business. At present, the company has acquired the de Havilland Canada company, Short Brothers from Ireland and Learjet. The most known series of Bombardier Aviation is the CRJ series Dash 8 series and the C series which has now been renamed to the Airbus A220 series. The CRJ series is a group of regional jets that are a common sight on the regional and domestic sectors in few countries and they mostly compete with the ERJ series of the Embraer. Hence, the similar seating capacity of 40 to 50 passengers. Then we have the Dash 8 series. The Dash 8 rivals the ATR-72 and seats up to 80 passengers. The C-Series is the one which has been in the news after Airbus bought a majority stake in the program and renamed it to the Airbus A220 series. This series competes with the E-Jet of the Embraer company with similar seating. Now we have ATR. ATR is a regional transport airplane manufacturer. It is a joint venture between Aerospatial of France and Air Italia of Italy formed in 1981. The main product of the ATR company is the ATR-42 and the ATR-72 which further consist of multiple other variants. These are the other dominant turboprops in the civilian aviation market which rival the Dash 8 Q400 of the Bombardier Aviation Company as mentioned earlier. Soon after ATR's formation, the ATR-42-200 conducted its maiden flight from Toulouse Airport in August of 1984. The bigger ATR-72 started deliveries in 1989 just after ATR-42 had reached its sale target of 400 aircraft. The number 42 in ATR-42's name is derived from the standard seating configuration of the aircraft which seats anywhere from 40 to 50 passengers. Similarly, the 72 in ATR-72's name is also indicative of the standard passenger capacity between 72 and 78 passengers. I hope you liked the video. Do mention your favorite manufacturer in the comments below. Now we are at the end, like, share, subscribe and please ring the notification bell. Till next time, be curious and keep your eyes on the sky.